Before you open your mouth. Now I know. Don't answer reflexively. I won't. You have to make a conscious decision to tell the truth. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Strap in and get ready for a wild ride full of cringe today as we meet someone that gets exposed for about a hundred different lies on Dr. Phil's show today. Without further ado, let's just hear about all her lies, shall we? You throw her a baby shower. Yes. And so you invite people. Yeah. And they spend money and bring gifts. So you might be asking yourself, whoa, Grim, this is just an expecting mother having a baby shower, you know, getting hyped for her new baby like normal. She's about to have, uh, you know, a kid, so you gotta have a party. What's so cringe about that? Well, sadly, she was never pregnant at all. And her friends or relatives here on stage are exposing her for all of her lies. I'm pretty sure it's her mom and her sister. And uh, apparently, this is not the first time that she has faked a pregnancy for attention. In fact, this seems to be a regular thing for her, but this recent one, she let it go really far and had them plan a full, you know, gender reveal party, shower, all that, even though she didn't ever have a kid. You know, you gotta love when people are just so thirsty for attention that they are willing to lie about a massive life moment with their closest friends and relatives. That's a really cool move to just pull on your family, in my opinion. In this picture where she's got her mouth open, just, oh my God, she knows she's not pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? Oh, the blur, dude. They had to blur this picture. <laughs> I'm done, bro. She's over here doing the whole freak out thing as if she's actually about to have a kid, but instead she knows deep down that there's no bun in that oven. She just wanted to let herself go for a bit, maybe, you know, and blame it on a baby. Smart move, in my opinion. I wish I could pull that same one. No, sadly, I'm just fat. And, you know, maybe you can finesse some nice gifts out of it, too, if you're going to lie about it. You know, if you're going to do this full charade of having a kid, you might as well milk it for all you can, Right? What did you say to these people that spent the money to buy these gifts? I haven't but, said anything yet. They don't know. They don't know. Imagine how embarrassing that is, dude. This is the mother, I think, on the right that's talking to Dr. Phil right now. And imagine being in her shoes. You put in all this effort to throw a baby shower, which I'm sure is not cheap to host for your daughter, and all her friends and your relatives show up, and you shower her with gifts. But then they're all expecting to at least, you know, meet the baby, I guess, when it comes out. But uh, it doesn't exist. So how exactly are you going to get around that, I ask you? I'd be so angry, dude. I want my freaking baby clothes back that I just bought for you. You know, I spent good money on those. You have pathological pattern of lying, telling half-truths, lying by omission. Yeah, we get it, Dr. Phil. This lady can't tell the truth if her soul depended on it. I just skipped past it, but she was legit still texting her mom two months after this baby shower for a already fake baby, and she was trying to get her to buy a stroller for this baby that never actually was going to exist. Talk about a crazy person move right there. Why would you want to have your own mom spend tons of money on a stroller for you when you knowingly aren't with child? Like, what would you possibly need that for anyways if there's no kid involved? I just don't get any of this, bruh. I mean, the truth is that I lied to you. I mean, not just to you guys, but to everybody. Whoa, we got some apology ASMR going on here. Heads up for all of you people like me that really dislike ASMR. Yeah, we just got some on an accident there, my bad. But I gotta say, at least she is not trying to like save face so far. She's honestly just apologizing to her sister and mom here. Since, I mean, you can't really try and cover up your tracks anymore at this point. The truth is out there. And before she was on stage, you know, they've been spending the last 15 minutes or so showing montages of all the sick lies that she's been telling to all her friends and family for these years. So after that, once you come out on stage, there's really no plan B. You just got to buckle up and take the fall at that point. Open your mouth. Now I know. Don't answer reflexively. I won't. You have to make a conscious decision to tell the truth. Yeah. Dr. Phil's over here cutting her off before she can even answer, bruh. He knows that she's about to get all defensive or, you know, try to spin it and not be entirely honest about her wrongdoings. I'm just glad that he's doing this, you know. Maybe they might want to make some actual progress with this girl today if she can get the truth out without trying to cover for herself. I feel like everyone always tries to do that on this show, and it just doesn't work, man. You gotta be honest with yourself if you want to make any progress. People should know, too, that I never did anything that I did or lied to you guys because I wanted to hurt you. Well, dang, bruh. Now we got the tears rolling through. You know, I didn't expect this to get so emotional so quick, even though it's pretty psycho to be faking your own pregnancies. I mean, I do kind of feel for this girl, you know? It's hard to see someone opening up like this and being honest without, you know, feeling bad for them. She must really, really feel like she needs to lie to make herself seem interesting enough for her friends and family. I just wish she didn't let it progress this far because it's hard to come back from lying about having a kid. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Like I said, you would have
have to work super hard to regain your friend and family's trust back after that. You're an adult, and I said to you that we supported you 100%. Well, I gotta say, dude, the mom doesn't seem that emotional or apologetic about this. Uh, she's kind of just saying it as it is. When her daughter legit just started bawling on stage, you know, I skipped forward here past the crying. There's a few minutes of it, though, so I just wanted to save us all from that emotional stuff. But seriously, this mom is just acting like she didn't just see that. She claims that she might not have focused on her enough as a kid or, you know, given her enough support. So that would totally explain why this girl is out here faking all this stuff just to get some emotional response from her own mother. You know, she's probably been so devoid of just all love and emotion from her mom for all these years or pretty much her whole life and she just felt that she had to do something really insane like faking having a baby to get her full attention again which is really sad but it makes sense i'm curious what you heard her say <laughs> that it was my fault that she's made all the decisions she has Really? <laughs> That's not at all what she said. Bruh, how the tables have turned. You know, first I thought this whole video was going to be where we go in on this pregnancy faker just memeing on her, which is pretty insane that she did that. You know, I'm still not excusing it for that. That is sick. But I'm more focused on this mom. Like, talk about being a cold, heartless parent. No wonder this kid is lashing out so much, dude. You have to fake about 10 different kids just to get this mom to feel like she cares about you. The daughter has been on stage and been crying, talking about what made her do the things she did and kind of just sharing her side of the story and being honest you know she made mistakes and she's owning up to them but the mom took it all defensively saying wow she just said that i'm the only reason she did what she did like no we aren't saying that exactly just you know don't get so defensive right away of course what you did didn't help but she chose to do those things to get closer to you and to make it feel like you cared about her have a little sympathy your own kid is over here having an emotional time on live tv you can't at least fake it like you care you know, even just a little bit. So guys, real quick, I have a super fast challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. No wonder there's so much resentment and misunderstanding between us and I will not claim it as an excuse for what I've done. You can all hear it, I own everything I've done. Okay, that was weird. Talk about a quick change of emotions there. You know, I really don't know who to trust in this video anymore, bro. Like, you got this girl going from crying to talking like one of those broke kids from your high school that never did anything with his life on Facebook in about five seconds. You know, you know the type I'm talking about, by the way. They're always talking like, bro, I built everything I do, bro. I am my own man. Don't come at me unless you're making big bucks, bro. Meanwhile, he's working at Arby's or something. Like, chill out, dog. You know, maybe this daughter is just super manipulative, too, and we are seeing this crazy family just on stage trying to outmaneuver each other throughout this whole episode. I've, I've resented you, you know? I, well, I, I kind of resent you too. This is such a healthy relationship, man. I always talk with my own mom about how much we resent each other. It's really just such a normal thing to absolutely hate your parent, you know? Sarcasm, of course. I love my mom. But seriously, these two need some actual counseling, bro. Like, both seem kind of crazy and toxic towards each other. Not kind of, actually. Very. And if this is how bad it is on TV, imagine how miserable it is to be around them in private like they're probably at each other's throats 24 7 dude no wonder this daughter is so crazy and makes up so many lies i would too if i grew up in a family like this to be honest my theory about why you've done this is it's a pure power play now dr phil is just talking and i mean it seems like he has seen through the bs as well just like i did he is just thinking that this daughter did this purely to hold over the mom and torment her as a way to get back at her for i don't know this supposed terrible childhood that she had to live through which is terrible but i could totally see it from that angle too like if someone is going to fake a pregnancy i would totally assume that they are also capable of doing it just to be hurtful to someone else and it's pretty clear that this girl is super salty towards her mom for quite a few things you know we aren't going to get into it in this little snippet that we see of their lives on Dr. Phil's show, but there is some real trauma there. You know, maybe she just feels like she's the black sheep in her family and this is her reaping her revenge. But either way, I feel like it's just such a terrible thing to do. Like, yeah, way to trick everyone that ever cared about you in your family and friends circle. I'm glad it backfired in this girl's face and now she's getting exposed for it. It is unfair to make up a baby for us to love so that you can have a nice party and feel love. That is not why I did it. 
Uh, wait, that's exactly why you did it. Hold up, you legitimately just spent the last eight minutes explaining to us in excruciating detail, might I say, why you did this. And that lines up exactly with what your mother just said. I mean, unless she doesn't remember that because maybe all those tears could have been just to emotionally manipulate her mom and the audience and Dr. Phil. And uh, honestly, there are just too many issues to count. This girl is a crazy moron for trying to fake pregnancies. That's a terrible thing you should never do, heads up. And uh, honestly, the mother of this girl could go for some practice and being nice too. I mean, I get that you're annoyed at your daughter for being so thirsty for attention and faking pregnancies, but seriously, show some remorse for your bad parenting early on in her life and take some credit for it. I mean, I'm sure that would help out a lot. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of these people down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.